Welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sushimi. Joined today by my sweet sister, Ice Ice Bobby. Hello. We're back with some more control. Uh, last time, <laughs> whoop, the game threw up in its mouth. Uh, this oh. time, <laughs> beeping. I'm sorry. It's one of the meanest ongoing jokes slash goofs that Jonathan has now done where like, I will do something not actually that gross or like a normal thing or something and he'll just like, like, oh, God. Uh, uh, and like pretend to like gag like I'll sneeze and he'll do like a big gag <laughs> kind of like when he would cough and I would go like ew <laughs> um I don't like being on the other side <laughs> huh imagine that <laughs> who would have thought <laughs> alright I don't like this like I've got the high ground Anakin bullshit that's yeah got, I don't love that got going on. don't you Obi-Wan Kenobi me You know, you know I don't like Star Wars. You know I'm a Trekkie. Fuck. <laughs> That's what you get for saying you're a Trekkie. I'm kidding. I don't care. Give a shit about either. Don't at me, please. I prefer Star Wars. Like, uh, but I'm, not I'm really saying, not like. I'm not saying either is bad by any means. Those are just not either of worlds I'm in. That is all. I can say, yo, they have really interesting stuff, and it's so cool, and like. You know, yes, uh, this one or that one was revolutionary or important for this reason or that reason, but, like, I, I just don't participate in either of them. I'm a non-practicing Trekkie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm non-observing. I don't observe. Uh, no, just genuinely. I, I'm not, like, I'm not interested in watching the Star Wars movies. I've seen all of them except for the last one. <laughs> really? Which is a, like a goofy place to be. Versus at that point, you may as well kind of finish it off. The luck department? Is that what he said? I, I missed it. I mean, it's either the luck department or the fuck department. It wouldn't be the fuck department. That was a bad joke. Saying that would take you, get you taken to HR. Sorry, I wasn't listening to you because I was trying to read. What did you say? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what did you actually say to me with your mouth? You can uh, run back. Run it back. I can't. <laughs> All right, utilization of paranatural elements, rethinking groupthink. The study extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong ca uh, causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Osh's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments redacted. For details, extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings to, bleh, suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in redacted. redacted. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolution, revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of redacted and redacted. Refer to file 318-2849 for a full report. Wait, what did we pick up here? I will. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane... Oh, we, we saw this one on the TV. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um... I forgot what the hell I was going to say. Oh, oh, okay, it's explanation oh. of the bubble. Uh, his clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manif manifestations of his resonance. Without the need of a host, his clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his host with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the hiss make an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Refer to file redacted for full report. Interesting. Oh, you got uh, one more on red? Oh. Uh, this report serves as an introduction, uh, introductory guide to the oh, astronaut yeah, the program, astronauts. Uh, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contacts, contact with the X-ray light box, see case file OOP18 <laughs> for whoop, details. 18. <laughs> whoop. 
and the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes known as dives. After each dive, astral knots must undergo a redacted session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that redacted within the astral plane vary widely, bef uh, yeah, widely between astral knots. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral units. Refer to file 829-1838-44 report. Interesting. Uh, let's switch to the Shatter, because I do have a Shatter quest active. Yeah. And... How do I get... <laughs> I was tripping on all these bottles. I like a bunch of fucking beer bottles on the floor. Owie. My tootsies. Your tootsies. Oh. Marshall? Um. Marshall! I see it. Another object of power? They're just oh. standing there, mesmerized by it. Oh. Okay. Question, can I, like... Yes. Yes, I can. I mean, are they going to become enemies, or did you just kill an innocent man? I think they're going to become enemies. Oh, I, then, I think then these go are... for it. I could be wrong. Then ice them. See, but I don't know if... There's not a morality bar in this game. I mean, you're not wrong. Rip and rip it, baby. All right, black, black. You they did goodies. give you health, so I guess they would become enemies. There you go. Oh, hey, it's a lab. One of the many labs, I guess. Oh, you just have to keep kind of... Hmm. Hmm. I see. Kind of. There you go. I don't know how I did that. Oh. <laughs> You know, I've, like I could, I could understand. Oh, what it, this is the symbol you're going for. I was oh. trying to fill out the whole thing. Oh, huh. and like I also was trying to have you fill out the whole thing with my mind, by which I mean I was looking at it like, oh, you're supposed to fill it out. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. What up, what up, what up, what up. Brilliant. Your name for the record. Paul Warren, astral mark, first boss. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego. Corporeal entangling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Partial no, no to deal. full dementia is a sentence. Yeah, that's rough. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. It's okay, done. so I guess they were just kind of doing a, uh, what do you call that, a uh, waiver? Yeah. Which, again, the guy just being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, really? That's not a moment you yeah, 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 dude. There's the x-ray light box. Time to bind this fool. Uh, oh, man. I can't see. Oh, here we go. Use C's to control the astral plane challenge. Okay. C's. These these nuts? <laughs> no. Golden copy NPC variation. Find another way to defeat this enemy. Okay. So those are an attack. You have to seize it, don't you? Enemies that have health can be seized. Oh, so then you have others attacking. 
Aha. Interesting. It seized, fool. I see now. I seize now. Interesting that you said that was in there. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot my you fucked up. melee button. Fucked up. What was the melee button? Do you remember? Uh, I barely held a PlayStation controller in my life. Hold on. I, I was a Nintendo kid. It's Tringle. The weirdest button you could choose. Tringle. But the most fun to say. Tringle. Yeah. If you let yourself have fun, yes. <laughs> and isn't that what life is? You just let yourself have fun. I mean, I think so. It should be. I, um... If you don't let yourself have fun, who will? My boss earlier called me. And started asking me questions. How dare you? To, no, but it's like question. Like, why would I, how would I know the answer to that? Like, he asked me about a patient. Fine, I gave him all the information I knew about this guy. And then he's like, "Okay, well, what's the last office visit note?" And I pull that up and I start explaining to him what the office visit note says. Now, keep in mind, I have not written this note, and I can't like go back and edit it because like it's not mine. Also, why would I do that? And it's, he's like asking for this very specific piece of information that that note doesn't have. So he's mad that that's not in that note. And I was just kind of on the phone making as many funny faces as I could to make myself less uncomfortable. Because I'm like, I know you're mad and I get why you're mad, but why are you mad at me? I didn't write this note. <laughs> like, this is not on me. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't have the answer. So I was just like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like in this room by myself while on the phone with him. Like, yep. Mm, that's all I got, Ooh, you know. Bad. Aim, have please. Fun. Have fun, I guess. <laughs> yeah, again, just gotta let yourself have fun sometimes. Let yourself have fun. I, while sitting here, have made the decision I'm gonna get a Manny Petty tomorrow. Nice. Well, Jonathan at some point was like, you should get one. Like, cause I keep commenting on like, oh, my nails. Like, I keep picking at them and being like, oh, they're bugging me. And he's like, stop picking at them. You're gonna make them worse. Just like, do your nails or get them done. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing them. Also, I've done them already this week. Um, but also, or I did them last week for our, for our dad's birthday dinner. Ooh, he snuck up on me. <laughs> Five he, nights to you. He absolutely caught me sleeping. Holy shit. Wow. My, is... my story was too enthralling. Yeah, no, you're <laughs> such a... Took you right out of the game. Uh... The, anyway. The bard of Hackensack. <laughs> oh, you're gonna out me like that! <laughs> uh, I hate the name Hackensack. <laughs> it's such a good name. I hate telling people I was born there. <laughs> Sorry if people ask me where I'm from, I'm like... Like... About that. Like, born? Or like, where do I live right now? Or like, what ethnicity you think I am? I was gonna say that's usually people's go-to when they're trying to like people. Are, people are weird. So, well, I I always ask because I don't want to assume and ramble about the wrong thing. Because like sometimes locals just want to know if you're local. So if they're like, "Where are you from?" and I'm like, "I'm from insert local town here," they're like, "Oh yeah yeah yeah," and then they'll be like, "Are you so and so's?" And then daughter? they put their gun away. <laughs> are you so and so's daughter? Or do you know so and so? And the answer is, get. I'm always like, I guarantee you, you do not know my parents guaranteed unless you happen to be somebody from the same town and country that they are from you do not know who they are i promise you people will try to think i'm like you know like a local like white southern person they're gonna say white supremacist no and like, though and they're why? like are you so-and-so's -so daughter or like do you know or, or no they're, they're like you live there yeah 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 so like oh who's your daddy and i'm like you would not know this <laughs> It could not matter less it to you. It could not matter less. You would not know. Okay. I'm bad at this. The closest was somebody asked all that, and I was like, I don't, you you will not find any, they were, they were trying to find somebody that you knew through me, and finally they were like, what's your, you know, like, boyfriends? Because I, I mentioned, like, I'm, I'm not as local, like, 
but like my boyfriend is. Oh, what's your boyfriend's name? And I, but he's so and so. Oh, that last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he so and so's kid? And I was like, nope. And it, it wasn't. It's just same last name, but like different person. So I was like, no. And I like, oh, and I think at that point they were like, I give up. <laughs> this kid's from nowhere. Like, knows nobody. No, knows no, no ties. Um. This is the horse with no name. Uh. Yeah, like, it was literally at lunch yesterday with my co-workers and one of my favorite doctors. We were kind of having that conversation because, you know, um, one of my co-workers is Indian and she was commenting on how, um, for them or for, like, certain groups of, of, certain groups within Indian community, it's like a thing where, like, you take your dad's first name as your middle name. So, like, her, her mom, and her brother have the same middle name because it's just her dad's first name. Okay. Um... Which she was like, it's misogynist. I won't lie. And I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's a thing. And then that doctor who's uh, Lebanese, Lebanese commented that, like, you know, for him, it's like a similar thing. Like, especially because, like, his last name's pretty common. So it's just like a, well, yeah, sure. But, like, you, you have that last name. But, like, which family do you belong oh, to? You can seize from a really long distance. I kind of like that. I do too. Especially when you're fighting one of the, this fucking thing. It means I don't have to like get up in the mix. Yeah, you can just kind of. I think finding. It also me. means I can kind of defend the ones that are being that I already have. Because earlier I saw that one of mine was getting attacked by like a regular a guy. Different... Yeah. See, like... Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I need them to last longer than, you know, four seconds so that they can actually put some numbers on this guy. Yeah, but the thing that Doctor was talking about was, like, you know, it's interesting having to, like... Oh, you did it. Good work playing, Doctor. You've been approved coercive. You're now ban bound validated. That was quick. Damn. That's right. Interesting. Um, it was saying that, like, for him, if you go to Lebanon, it's very, like, okay, I am son of blank grandson of blank n nephew niece whatever blank and i was like yeah i mean that i was like funny you say that because that is how it is for when like we travel to ecuador which i think for us that comes more from a place of like we don't live there and therefore we are not known as ourselves we are known as like daughter of so-and-so right. niece of so-and-so like people don't know me yeah all right uh x-ray light box uh whoop 18 dash p uh, containment procedure, no unique procedures needed. Description, peri utility. The object is a light box used to examine x ray images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named Redacted. The object allows para utilitarians to forcefully seize an individual's Redacted. The seized individual becomes Redacted to the user. The effect lasts Redacted. <laughs> Once released, the seized Redacted as a result of psychic trauma. Uh, the object has no current binder. Background. A, banner, a janitor named Redacted bound the object at St. Anne's Hospital in Redacted. Soon the building's occupants were redacted by him. The Bureau oh. dispatched an emergency response team to Redacted the perpetrator and Redacted the item. Fatalities numbered in the Redacted. <laughs> For operational details, see case 26HQ452. Ati, that wasn't you, right? Maybe. It's just specific that the report would be like, you a know, janitor. a janitor. Please state your name for the record. Oh, we... Yeah, we saw this yeah. one. It just calls it new, because I don't know why. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Warren, you alive? Uh, so I guess you were supposed to, like, start a little little war out here? Ah, you would have seized them, I see. Okay, well, too bad. Honestly, I'm fine with it. Yeah, it's okay. We can put that uh -huh. to... I don't know that that's going to come up as much as they... Well, I don't know. I guess if you could... Oh, excuse me. I guess if you can see them from afar, it's fine. Um. Warren, is that you? Are we under attack? Y'all praying? <laughs> Sounds like Sounds it. Sounds a little like praying. I want to hit that save real quick. What? Can you save at those spots or no? What's... Oh, um, I think the game just auto saves. Oh, okay, never mind. But actually, I think we got yeah, we got some ability points. Hey. Let's see. We multi launch is oh, hold and launch up to three objects. Energy now recovers while holding launch objects. That's really good, but it costs eight. Yeah, it's gonna have to save and then up for it. Launch if you want. damage, obviously good. The melee, honestly, I forget that exists. Uh, energy would be nice. Health would be nice. And then there's the new seize ability. Seize duration, uh, seize an additional enemy, 
I kind of like large enemies. Increasing the damage on your launch or health. Uh, well, the launch. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, listen, you're the one playing it. So no, you're good. right. <laughs> I just feel like you like the launch, and it's a it's I a do. good. It's a good very move. good, nearly busted ability. Who want it? Take the end. Who want it? That, that's what you say when you're in an elevator Marshall, with other people. Can you hear me? Who want <laughs> it? And they're like, you. third floor, Marshall. please. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden, hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need a talk. She got that right. More of you? Really? That's a completely fair and valid reaction, and we'll see more of it next time. Are we really at next time? Okay. We really Ooh. are. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I, I hate this. I'm so sorry. All right, next time. That is a really good action <laughs> Take shot, Take a little. Though. That is an extremely good action shot. Take a little uh. moment to breathe, I guess. Oh, you're gonna... What you gonna do? Oh, that's also... Well, that's not as flattering. Yeah. That's not her angle. No, but damn, photo mode though. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is like a Harlem shake shot. Bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Next time it's Ushimi's house. More of this. Later. Bye. You gotta know you're in for something special. You gotta feel it in your bones. Oh, you're gonna find what you need all the time. If you're looking for it, na 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 na. If you're looking for.